Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Hello. So we're back. <laughs> <laughs> Get you back. Back again. It's been about two and a half weeks maybe. Something um, like that. Yeah. Since we last uploaded. Uh, we just took a little break but we're back. We're excited and we're going to be vlogging a lot more. Yes. And yeah, just doing a lot more fun things on the channel. Yeah, some adventures incoming. Yeah. Um, and speaking of adventures, like one of the things we love to do is head to a Merlin attraction. And we were fortunate enough, I can't remember what it was now, uh, we got asked to be... Merlin Annual Pass collaborators. A couple of years ago now. Uh, and uh, with that being said, we've been sent some some things to show you. And it's the first ever time that they've uh, Merlin have ever released merchandise mm -hmm. to do with Merlin Annual Pass. Yeah, it's really exciting. We've got loads of things to show you. So if you are a Merlin Annual Pass holder, definitely check this out at the parks. Um, but I think it's open to anyone. Anyone yeah, can buy yeah. it. You, you don't, don't have to be an annual pass be... holder to, to purchase the, the merch. Yeah, but also if you aren't a Merlin annual pass holder, I'd highly recommend checking it out. If you enjoy going to the UK theme parks, um, then it is really worth your money. Yeah, I've just got uh, here. So it says that it's available in store at Chessington, Thorpe Park, Alton Towers, Warwick Castle. And also available online at the following web stores, which is Chessington, Thorpe Park and Alton Towers. So yeah, we'll show you the items. Uh, we'll tell you what the prices are. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they're being launched on the 26th of March. So I think well, by the time this goes out. Oh yeah, they should be yeah. launched. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, you can check these out in the park and you can purchase them as well if you wish. Yeah, and we're going to have a little chat at the end about our sort of like Merlin adventures that we are planning on going on. Uh, they've got some amazing events coming up this year. Yeah. We're really excited to get full use out of our annual passes. Yeah, and, and just go to them. thank you again to Merlin for yes. sending us these items. <laughs> So first we have two actually, one each, um, but we have a Merlin pass holder pin and it's this kind of like square rectangular shape, has a Merlin pass holder with the Merlin logo and it's just really cute. Um, perfect for your lanyards, um, if you don't have a lanyard you can put it on a bag yes. or anything really. Um, but yeah, it's really cute just to show like, I'm a pass holder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is five pounds. Five pounds. So the next item is a key ring. And what I love here is that you've got in the middle, it's the Merlin logo, and you can just keep twiddling it around. <laughs> and then around the outside, it's got all the attractions listed as well. So Chessington, Thorpe Park, Legoland, Warwick Castle, the Dungeons, Alton Towers, all of them, all around the outside. So if you ever thinking, oh, what attractions does it include? <laughs> you, can, you can just check your key ring. Or you can be like, I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it has the Merlin logo as well in the middle. So I like that it all like connects. Yeah. Um, but this is five pounds as well. So next is something which you can never have too many of. <laughs> <laughs> and it is like a shopper tote bag. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a really great size if you're just nipping to the shops. Um, perfect to bring to the parks as well. Pick the parks, yeah. Put yeah. your merch in it. You or... can put shopping in it. <laughs> or, or a pack lunch. Yeah. Um, and it has the Merlin annual pass logo. And then what does it have around the sides? Oh, it's got the... Um, attractions around the sides as oh, well. Oh, so it's a bit like the key ring. Yeah, and I like it because it's not specific to like one attraction, so you feel like you can, I mean, you can bring it anyway, even if it was specific to one attraction, but it is nice that it has all of them um, yeah. on there. But yeah, it's a lovely colour, a lovely blue colour. It's all like the same kind of yeah, blue, the I Merlin love the, blue. I love the, <laughs> the branding of it, I love the blue colour. And that's uh, £4. And we've got some items of clothing next. Yeah, this is what I was most excited <laughs> about. Um, that they were going to bring out some like annual pass clothing. Yeah. I just think that's really cool. Like and uh, one of the things I love wearing to a theme park if it's like cold and a bit rainy is a hoodie. <laughs> 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 so there it is. Uh, it's got on the front, it's got the Merlin logo. And then uh, on the tassels, you've got adventure, moments, thrill adventure, moments, and then it just keeps going. And then on the back, You've got some writing, so again, you've got epic moments. And I'm guessing that's because, like, when you're on the ride, you're like, whoa, like, whoa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> adventures, magic, and thrills. It's really nice. It's a really nice thick hoodie. Um, it's this lovely blue colour as well. And yeah, that's great just to um, bring to the part, especially the UK theme parts, because it can mm. get a little bit chilly at times. Um, so yeah, it's perfect. And so yeah, the hoodie is uh, £40. 
So next is another item of clothing and it is this long sleeve top and it's thinner than the mm -hmm. jumper. Um, so it's perfect for those like in between kind of days or those days where like it gets a little bit chillier in yeah. the evening and you want to pop something on. Um, but it's this, it's a different colour. Slightly different blue, yeah. isn't it? Um, it's more of like a lighter blue and it has the Merlin Annual Pass logo on the side and then on the back it has pass holder. So this one's a little bit more understated, mm -hmm. um, but I really like that. I do like a long sleeve top. Um, sort of has like spirit jersey vibes, Yeah. Um, but a little bit more of a top. Um, but yeah, that's really nice. I like the colour. Uh, that's 35. We've sort of gone uh, backwards in terms of weather. So okay. like, <laughs> you've got, if it's really cold and rainy, the hoodie, then you've got, if it's you know, in between, you've got the long sleeve. And then if it's, you know, glorious sunshine, like yeah, it is like today, it is today. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got your white t-shirt. Uh, so on the front, you've got the Merlin logo. And I, I love, like, especially on a, a hot day, mm -hmm. in order to like not have the sun really like pulled in towards you with the mm. dark colors. I love yeah. that it's white. Um, and then on the back, You've got different wording. So you've got adventure, thrills, fun, Whoa, rides. Moments. I love that. Right? <laughs> Whoa, moments. Uh, yeah, so that's the white t-shirt. And so the t-shirt is £25. So uh, one of the ways we love having our uh, annual passes uh, mm -hmm. on us is by having a lanyard. It's really handy and I'm definitely converted to wearing my pass on a lanyard just because it's so much easier to mm. get it like out for the discounts. Sometimes when it's in your bag you forget yes. um, to use it. And I believe on our other annual passes we had a, it was yellow wasn't it? It was a different mm. colour, different kind of uh, lanyard. So now we've got this one which matches the It would the go blue. with all the clothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, we've got these. We can pop our and your passes in. <laughs> and this is five pounds. And then the last thing we were sent was a mug. And you know, we love a mug. And I, <laughs> I really do love this mug. I think this is probably one of our favorite pieces of merch, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is amazing. And I've just noticed that the handle is the M, is the M for the Merlin. Oh, did you already figure yeah. that out? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you've got that there. That's sort of like the logo on all the other things. And then you've got Merlin and your pass, pass holder. And then I'd love like, you can feel the stars coming oh, out yeah. of the of the mug. 3D effect. Makes it really, and then also the writing as well comes out of the mug. Embossed. Yeah. <laughs> so Merlin, your pass, and then be amazed. It's a nice size though, this mug. Yeah. Like it's not huge, um, but it's like the perfect size. And it's actually quite, that handle's all right. Mm. It's um, comfy. It's good to get a good grip. Uh, but yeah, that is everything. And how much was this one? Uh, the mug is ten pounds. Ten pounds. And uh, on the on the list that we were sent of uh, of merch, there's actually some other things as well. So mm -hmm. make sure you have a look and check out those different items when the, yeah. the hit the theme parks. Yeah, but let us know if like anything caught your eye. Let us know if you are Merlin annual pass holders and what your favourite theme park is yes. and where you think you'll be heading this year. Oh, I'm excited to do more uh, theme park vlogs. Yeah. And We've got, videos. we have the um, list of events which you oh, can yeah. find on the Merlin Annual Pass uh, website. We'll pop that in the description box. Yes, let me see what we've got coming up. But they have some good events. Um, just I think know. they have more this year than they have in previous years as well. Well, there's, yeah, there's uh, over 50 epic events at 25 different attractions. So you've got loads. I mean, Alton Towers, we really want to get back to Alton mm. Towers. You got the Festival of Thrills, Mardi Gras, Oktoberfest, Scarefest, Fireworks, and Christmas. We've never done the Scarefest at Alton Towers, so let us know if you have. It does look really good. <laughs> uh, we managed to get to Fort Park Fright Nights, um, which was scary. <laughs> it was really good, but it was really scary. And Alton Towers as well. We watched somebody, uh, our friend Chantel, wasn't yeah. it? We watched them go, and just because of how it looks with like the... It's eerie. The, there's like a castle in the middle. Is, yeah. it, is it called the castle? Um, or the towers that are in the middle. It looks really scary. And then Chessington. Uh, I can't When did we last go to Chessington? We, we did some videos for the channel where we stayed in one of the, the rooms. The giraffe room. That I'd love amazing. That is one thing about Merlin Parks as well. They have some really lovely, amazing hotels. Yeah. Uh, we love the Chessington. We love the Alton Towers Hotel. So for Chessington, you've got Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wilder Fest, Halloween. They're, they're, they're scare mazes. Yeah. It's meant to they be look really the good. most intense. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Winter's Tale. 
Oh, I love all the Christmas events. Thought Park, you got Mardi Gras, Carnival, Oktoberfest and Fright Nights. Oh, so they're all doing Mardi Gras. We've never been to a Mardi Gras event, so mm. that'd be fun. Yeah, that'd be really good to check out. Uh, Warwick Castle, you've got the biggest summer in history, Oktoberfest, Haunted Castle and Christmas at the Castle. Also, I saw that they're bringing back a show. I can't remember the oh, name it's now. It's got like a dragon in it or something. But it looks it? amazing. I'll pop it in the description box um, with the proper name. But it's like projections onto the castle. And I believe it's coming back. I think they used to have it. Mm. Um, but that, it looks really good. I think that's over summer. Uh, you got Legoland. Uh, you've got Join Team Ninja. Ooh. Uh, you've got Pirate Treasure Hunt, Brick or Treat, and Christmas Spectacular. Oh, Sea Life! Oh, uh, yeah, we need to go to Sea Life. Yeah. Uh, Peppa Pig, Pirate Treasure Hunt, Ascarium Tricks and Treats Halloween, and then the dungeons you've got Body Snatchers Mac- Macbeth! <laughs> oh, that's in Edinburgh. Selected summer dates, uh-huh. Grim Reaper, and Halloween. We are wanting to go to the London events as well. Um, well, like the London attraction. So you've got Madame Two Swords, you have Shrek's Adventure, yeah. London Dungeons, and the London Eye. So we're hoping to go visit them as well because we haven't done yeah. them in years. Yeah. And then Martin used to work at Shrek's well, Adventure. I used to, yeah. And um, we might be having a trip up to, uh, to York soon oh, yeah. as well. So we could maybe uh, pop by the York, York Dungeon Dungeons. where I also used to work. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but there's so many great events coming up, but we're hoping to get to as many as we can. Yeah. Uh, we feel very fortunate that we have all these amazing theme parks in the UK yeah. as well. Um, we definitely want to make the most out of them. Yeah. And uh, with the with the weather sort of changing yeah. as well, it's just nice to, to get out and uh, try some different things. Even though we've been to these theme parks before with the different events, events, it's like they, yeah. they change it so it's something different. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at the merch, mm. hearing a little bit about the events. Again, let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you wanted to check out any of our previous videos, then oh, we've yeah. got a, a whole playlist about UK attractions. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we cover lots of Merlin ones and some other ones as well in there. Yeah. And then the next video will probably be another moving vlog because we still have a few that we <laughs> haven't released. Um, and then we're just going to start vlogging um, yes. in real time. Um, so you'll be able to see what we're up to at the moment mm-hmm. and some little house updates. You probably noticed that the sofa <laughs> has changed colour. We've got a new sofa. Um, so yeah, we're slowly making our way through updating the house. Um, so that will be in all the vlogs. Um, but yeah, we're excited to come back. Thank mm-hmm. you so much for being patient with us. Yeah. Um, all your lovely messages of support. You're always so supportive. And so we always feel that if we do need to take a break um, for whatever reason, we always feel really supported. So thank you. Yeah. Thank you to Merlani Pass for sending us these. Thank you to you for watching the videos because we wouldn't have been selected to, yeah. to do the collaboration without you watching. Like, we never, ever forget about that. Yeah. And then uh, thank you for the 10,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah. Which, we haven't actually spoken about it on the channel. Which was always like our... It Our was initial a huge goal, goal so, wasn't it? You know, we're so grateful we never forget about that. So. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. We're really excited to be back and we'll see you in the next video. Yes. If you've liked this video, hit the like button and also subscribe. Yeah. See you soon. Bye. Toodle <laughs> pitchkey. <laughs>